Well, hello there. Let's talk a little bit about Scourge. I structured this video in like intro, main and outro. Also, of course, my conclusion to the Scourge League. So check the timestamps if you want to skip between certain points. In the meantime, you should be looking at gameplay and I hope the footage looks actually clean and high res as possible. So yeah, you have something nice to look at. By the way, also don't mind the build I'm playing right now. It's just the cheapest seismic trap blah blah character I was able to throw together in like 30 minutes, you know. If you want to play a good build that you're seeing right now, follow Balamage's video. He made a full video like two or three months ago of a good seismic trap, exanguate character. Go check that out if you want. With this out of the way, let me just give you a quick rundown of what Scourge is. So Scourge is a challenge league released back in October and is still going on for a couple more days, depending on when this video is coming out. Currently, it is the 20th of January. In this video, I will mainly talk about the league itself, not the entire patch, but TLD. They are. The defense changes are amazing. There are a large number of potential builds now, and to be honest, always were. And on top of all of that, we got new aspirational content that your Frostblades character probably won't be able to do. I'm sorry to tell. I'm sorry to tell you, but that is the truth. I, uh, you won't. <laughs> Jokes aside, let's jump into the Scourge review. A quick rundown, what is Scourge even about, right? What is this Scourge you're talking about? So, Scourge adds another layer on top of the existing area in which you can shift in and out of. In that other dimension, you find extremely dangerous enemies that would love to get a bite of you. Literally, they will eat your face off if you just stop for like a split second. <laughs> While you're in that other dimension, the device that the new NPC gives you by the way, the NPC is called The Last to Die, um, allows you to absorb the corruption when killing enemies. The corruption will then modify items in the device, which will gain one positive and one detrimental modifier. While you're killing monsters in that dimension, you're gaining stacks that go up to 300. So 300 is the max cap. At 300 stacks, for example, these monsters will do 300% more damage and also drop just a lot more items, just more percentage in terms of quantity of items. So a very fast paced league because you want to kill as many po enemies as possible while you're in there. You want to get those stacks up. You want to like increase your quantity of items so you can get just more loot. So all the zoomers that play like fast paced, you know, cyclone builds are like, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, cyclone is good. Play what you like. Okay, let's talk a little bit about visually, you know, how the league is, you know, how it looks like to our human eyes. I mean, I have human eyes. Maybe there is someone who has... Do you have human eyes? Comment down below. Anyways, some areas can be too dark and too red for me on my monitor. But overall, it looks dark, grim, and dangerous. Exactly how a demon-infested dimension should look like. Of course, this is super subjective, so maybe your monitor is just, you know, set up a little bit differently. The new monsters fit perfectly. They have multiple arms, gaping mouths, spikes, and things you generally don't want to touch. The three Scourge bosses are, for the most part, unique and look exactly like, a little, like the little guys. Disgusting. Disgusting! Seriously, their animations are beautiful. Beautiful for something disgusting, that is. Just as a side note, when I was streaming, by the way, yes, I'm streaming, um, I saw like a couple enemies on the edge of, on the top of the edge of my screen, and I was like, oh god, no. And it, like the, the way they crawl up to you slowly and how they look like, it's, it's so creepy. It is perfect. I love it. I love it so much. I think these are probably the best monsters we have seen in a long time. And that might be on purpose because they were talking about. Okay, how do I break this down? Scourge is kind of like the new Beyond, maybe. And Beyond was mentioned to be kind of very lazy on their part because it's just guys that are red, you know, like a red hue. So I'm guessing they were like, okay, we need to make these good, you know, like really scary demons. I think they nailed it. Well done, GGG. You get one clap. There you go. Moving on to music and sound, you know, which I personally am very... Uh, I find music and sound is so super mega important in games. Again, Camille made an absolute banger. 
I'm not good when it comes to describing music, but I think the bass or drums that start a bit later in the track really gets your heart pumping. And right after, you probably realize the dozens of sounds from the enemy slashing, screaming and pouncing on you. No, I'm not talking about pouncing like an uwu. Stop. Weeps out. The sounds have such an impact on gameplay and serve as great audio cues that you will know which enemies to avoid or quickly kill just by their sounds alone. So there is a certain type of monster that has, I think, like six arms and I think it's actually the lady, you know, with the, with the booba. And she like charges up in the air and then just thrusts towards you. Like you hear this sound, like after just a couple times you will hear this sound. At that point you just focus on either killing wherever that sound is coming from, or you just get the heck away, you know? just Because the moment you hear this sound, I think you have like a solid second to move away. If you're frozen in that time, and you're in hardcore, um... Well, time to level a new character, right? <laughs> Let's move on to the big juicy part which is, of course, the overall gameplay, you know, the thing you're interacting with, the gameplay you're clicking, you're playing, you're, you're doing something, right? You're interacting with the game, you know, very important. So how do you play Scourge? Well, you're in an area and you just mow down some mobs, you know, you just, you just, you know, Cyclone builds know what I'm talking about, right? They're like mowing down, that's all I do every day, you know, just right click and just... Anyways. So you mow down some mobs, you fill that meter, you click the button, which is usually V, or if you have a shortcut enabled, then you switch into the Scourge dimension and you have more mobs to mow down. And then you get teleported back where you came from after like 20, 30 seconds. And that's probably where most people are kind of annoyed by, because you have this yo-yo effect of just going forward in the map, teleporting, going into the Scourge, mowing more mobs forward, and then you get teleported back, which is like... Some people just obviously are not a big fan of that, but that's just how the that's just how the league functions, right? So you're usually going through the map twice, and if you are like really bad in movement or you just didn't know where you where you were before, you go through the map thrice, maybe even, which gets really annoying a little bit if if you are just a slow character and have to just mow through mobs and more mobs and teleport back six times per map you know because there are just so many mobs now because you love juicing but if your character is slow and you have so many mobs it's like it's it it, it gets really long like some maps are really long thankfully and I don't, I don't know if that was added right at the start of scourge or with the update but you have a separate map like on the top right or as an overlay and you see where you were before and where you weren't so you can kind of focus on oh this is an area that is undiscovered, I gotta go there, right? And just kill the mobs that are left there. But on the other side, it's like 30 new mobs in Scourge probably won't make a big difference. Unless you Scourge items or maps. And that is where we go into the juicy part. So, because you kill these mobs in Scourge, you get the corruption as mentioned. Then you can Scourge the items, which in my opinion, weren't really too exciting. I quickly ignored that after a couple of weeks but maps on the other side it's just making the map a little bit more difficult especially while the scourge mobs more difficult than they already are more than that in a bit and then it's just they just drop a lot of loot right so if you love juicing maps then you run maybe like I think it doesn't really matter which tier just do it and just try it out and see how it feels and if you come out with a little bit more chaos, maybe, maybe with some expedition currency even, which, you know, sells for a couple chaos each, right? It's just, it's just good because every Scourged map has like every rare mob that you kill in Scourge or a rare Scourged mob or whatever it's called. You just get loot just on top of already getting loot, right? Usually. So it's just good. So if you have the defense and if you have the damage and you can deal with these situations you can scourge a map 10 times and just get stupid amounts of loot out of that if you're unlucky you're actually making the maps impossible because there are certain modifiers that can actually just ruin everything for example when you shift into scourge there could be a modifier or something saying you take a certain amount of damage 
elemental damage or physical damage. That I think can go up to like 36,000, I'm questionable. Either way, I read 12,000 physical damage and I'm like, okay, no, this is tier 4 or something. I can't do this map. <laughs> it's impossible. Like, I, I get... Just at the moment I shift in, I might survive with some luck, but like, then I get the same damage when I shift out, and then five seconds later I shift back in. It's like, I'm I'm dead. You know, it's it's, it's impossible. I think that's just typical GGG stuff, and I'm fine with it, right? If every scourge map would be you get currency, expedition, breach, and all the good stuff every single time with minimal or no risk. That's not fun, right? Because sometimes you just maybe got like a sick ass stuff. Maybe you get like more currency, expedition currency, um, scarabs or whatever. I, I, I'm not even sure if scarabs is, a, is an option, whatever. But you take a, a lot of lightning damage, right? You can either juice that map up more and have a character that can deal with it or make a character that can deal with it. Or you just sell it to other people if you're, of course, not in a solo cell phone, right? An SSF. So it's just, it's just good. I feel like that's just good that, that, that this exists, right? If everything would be good, nothing would be bad, and it just feels boring, and you just... You just everything just feels the same, you know? It's, it feels too samey at that point, and that's just not good. You need, like, highs and lows in games. Speaking of highs and lows, I skipped over that a little bit. So the one thing is, everything is a little bit different, right? Yeah, mobs are also kind of different. So there are some mobs, because there are three different factions, one faction, I think it's the Pale Demons, whatever they're called. I think they are stupidly overbuffed. So there are demons that are much weaker and some demons that are much stronger. So sometimes you have like a 50 to 100 stacks and you're like, okay, this is, I feel this, you know, 50 to 100 more damage. I feel this, you know, but it's, it's manageable. I can do this, right? And then suddenly you just, in another map with 100 stacks, you just get one shot out of nowhere because... You know, suddenly they are the more dangerous demons. And I, to be honest, I don't really look at them this closely because, like I said, you just mow through them. And sadly, the faster you can kill them, you know, if they're dead, they can't kill you. Kind of, kind of a deal, right? So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it, that's my playstyle, right? So more zoomy, more damage, less defense. Of course, HC players are like, you know, like cringing right now. I get it. Either way, you know, you, you just gotta be careful because if you get one shot out of nowhere, you know, it just... Like, you just run through your map, you're having a great time, you're just getting the stacks, you're like, oh my god, loot here, loot there, mine, 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 and then suddenly you just get, bam, slapped one shot and, you know, it just crashes your game, steals your homework folder, you know, and then they look into your homework folder and are like, disgusting. You don't want that, right? Jokes aside, it's okay that there are, you know, different demons that are more dangerous and some that are a little bit less, but it feels a bit insane and I would have liked some more of, like, a, a base danger level, you know, of, like, a demon. Like, okay, it's, it's like, 20% more dangerous than a normal mob in a map or something like this, but I feel like that's also probably difficult to manage, you know, to do balance. Either way, it's okay. The one-shots still aren't fun, obviously. You know, they never are. But it's also me who plays like a, a 3.6k Flicker Strike build right now. So people are like, yeah, I kind of agree to him. And now suddenly, oh, he's talking about Flicker Strike 3.6k build. All right, my opinion is just <laughs> diving down, you know, just, just dying right now. Yeah, Stonks and Daniel Inc. is going down, boys. Dude, I just wanted to drop my hot NFT, boys. God damn it. Oh, man. Where were we? Uh, yeah, scourging maps. Either way, yeah, just a lot of micromanagement because thankfully with an update, you're able to scourge maps pretty much right after another. So if you have two scourge maps done and you run them and you also obviously go into the scourge there and mow down every mob you see, but you have put in two new maps, you usually get two scourge maps out of two scourge maps. So you can pretty much run them one after another. I think if you have maybe the, the passive skills equipped, right, the right one in the Blood Crucible thingy. I'm not talking about the skill system because it's just, it exists, I guess. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty cool that they ma manage that, right? So it's it's a lot nicer to just spam Scourge if you wanted that. And if your build can handle it, of course. As mentioned, if you, of course, do higher tier Scourge maps, you probably get more loot out of it. 
but I'm pretty sure if you just run your normal maps, but tier 1 scourged, so just a little bit more loot, so maybe just one, one, like a couple more chaos per map, a little bit here, a little bit there, you're just overall getting more loot, right? It's just, it's just on average more if you just scourge every map. Okay, I think I have talked now for a long time. I probably have forgotten some stuff, but in conclusion, the league itself was, and uh, you know, still is great. The music, the quality of the monster models, and the sound effects were great. The gameplay was definitely the weaker part of the league for me, you know, but nothing is perfect. As of recently, we now know that Scourge won't end up in the main game, so or into the core game. Um, maybe to give themselves a couple leaks, maybe we'll, we will see it again. But I find that actually okay, right? Scourge was fun for this league. It doesn't have to return instantly again. And with all this in mind, I'm really looking forward to 3.17 with the new endgame expansion. I have a video out if you want to see my reaction, by the way, here, there. I think it's probably right here. Either way, go check that out if you want to. And I just talk about, I don't know, for, for about 18 minutes, I'm talking about a teaser that is 12 seconds. I feel like that's good. <laughs> A quick plug, I will be streaming the announcement or the live stream announcement thingy on the 27th of January. So if you want to check that out, come by, get hyped, uh, meme around, you know, let's have some fun. And yeah, it's on twitch.tv slash danielbr93, which is the best name. Yup. As an annoying YouTuber, I have to tell you, please like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this of either reviews, reaction to maybe some Path of Exile stuff, or which will mostly or should become the main part of this uh, channel, which is highly edited indie game videos or games that I just want to play and I just highly edit them. And yeah, hope you will stick around, you know, and just, just, just join the Discord and memes, you know. We, we got memes, we got memes here and memes there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.